All right, hey guys. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm here today with George, Lou, and John, Hello. who worked on Tommy's team, also helped me out with farmlands, production, what? filming, worked, <laughs> literally lived. Up until now. Lived with Tommy, up until now, yes. <laughs> your, your employer is just a foot in jail, unfortunately. Uh, however, just so you know who he is, if you watched the live stream where Tommy was arrested, you can hear him yelling in it. George, call me a solicitor. George, call me a solicitor. That would be this George right here. Yeah. Uh, almost immediately after that, you had a flight booked to come out here, unfortunately. Yeah. So it was all kind of hectic for you. But the reason I wanted to do this stream with you, obviously, we have to be extremely careful because George uh, and Kaylin and the rest of Tommy's team are at high risk of also being arrested if they introduced new things that were said in the courtroom on the day that he was put into jail. So what George is going to be talking about today, uh, the information he's going to be introducing is everything up until the point of the actual sentencing. So you can talk about what happened the actual day of the arrest. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll be doing super chats just for everyone to know. So I don't even know how to shut them off, to be honest. I'm not very good with this. So uh, most of this is just going to be George giving you guys as much information about what happened on the day of the arrest, especially because there's been a lot of criticism towards yeah. Tommy of people saying he violated his suspended sentence, of people saying that he was um, committing all sor sorts of things that made it so that he was deserved to be arrested when you actually hear the story, you realize that is not true at all. So George, I'll let you take it away with what happened cool. the day of Tommy's arrest. Um, so as as we've done many, many times in the past, we decided to go to uh, one of these grooming gang uh, trials. They are happening everywhere in the UK at the moment. Uh, there's BBC documentary actually, um, which was surprisingly very good that came out a while ago called Three Girls. And it's, it's I think they listed 76 towns across the UK that had these trials going on in them. Uh, one, one particularly bad one was happening in a town called Huddersfield, which is in the north of England. Uh, we went, when we were with Rebel, we went to actually go and report on it at the beginning. It was 27 men and two women. Um, they were in for multiple counts of, of all of these different things. I can't, I can't even say now because this is the same trial that a year later uh, this weekend, we decided to go and have a look at it. It was the conclusion of the second group. They decided to try them in three groups of 10, the first group, the second group, which has just come to its conclusion, and the third group. So we went along to kind of see see what was going on. We, we had a guy who'd been sitting in the courtroom all week. He'd been giving us the updates, and he advised us that basically the jury the jury has gone out. They're coming back to give their, their verdict on the Thursday, and we thought, right, if they... If they're not back on the Thursday, then we'll go down on the Friday and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we went down and Tommy was doing a live stream and we, knowing that he was on a suspended sentence, knowing this kind of thing had happened before, decided to be really, really super careful about what was what was gonna, gonna be, go down, what was gonna be said. So just to let people know, the suspended sentence was essentially, I'm sure you've seen videos of Tommy being quite cheeky where he's yelling at the accused going into courtrooms saying, Things like, oi, you've been raped in kids, have you? And those are like some of his most famous videos uh, on, on YouTube. Yeah. People are like, finally, someone is going and giving these guys uh, what, what they deserve, right? But he was like, okay, we can't say anything like that. Got to make sure uh, we have a legend in there. We only say things that the mainstream media are saying. We're very careful to not violate the things that he was originally sentenced for that was suspended. So... Yeah, this 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 case was definitely a, a marked turn for Tommy. Um, we've been doing a lot of work recently on kind of getting him into in, into the right direction where he can kind of be a little bit more mainstream, deal with those issues. Uh, so we and like, not go to jail. <laughs> and yeah. not go to jail. You know, um, I think if anything, this shows how, how important it is um, what what we've been doing and, and the direction that he's been going in. And the, the thing that's the kicker, yeah. Um, I was talking to you about this earlier, mm -hmm. wasn't I? If you watch the live stream, it's actually really dull it's, it's yeah. quite boring it's he's not screaming at people he's as they go in he's saying you know how do you feel about how do you feel about the trial what you know uh, is that a prison bag that you've got there you know in, in the uk i don't know about over here but when you go for your last day of, of the trial and you think that you're going to be sentenced you'll go with a, a prison bag of stuff that you can take in with you um 
when you get to the prison, you can kind of only have the stuff that you've got with you. You only have right. the, the cash that's in your pocket, which is one of the one of the problems we're facing now. Um, with Tommy trying to get phone calls, is he can only use credit from the cash that he had in his pocket when he got into the court um, until the court reopens tomorrow uh, and the prison reopens tomorrow, and then we can start kind of getting some of the money that people have donated to him, getting him calls, getting him uh, toiletries, that kind of thing. So he, he he's doing this live stream, and it's yeah, it's it's really really tame. He's he's making the effort. He's saying you know the the, the alleged rapists, the alleged this, they've been accused of this. That he 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 mentions multiple times, and um, it has been acknowledged. I can't sort of. Say. It has been acknowledged uh, in the courtroom that he said alleged, and that he only read things that the mainstream media had already reported. Yeah. So. He he literally I he he was literally reading a list uh, from a from a reputable local newspaper, mainstream media, of the the names of the defendants and their charges, and that was that was in a reputable newspaper. The people from that newspaper were sitting in the courtroom while Tommy was being sentenced, and there's a really not a word not a word was said to them. There's a really great clip. It's on Facebook. I'm not sure if people can find it, but it, they've got a guy like on the news, mainstream media, TV, reading out the names of the people in this case, saying what they're charged with, talking about Muslim grooming gangs, saying everything that Tommy was saying outside that courtroom, and it's played side by side with Tommy's live stream, and you can't tell the difference. You really can't. Now, here's what was shocking to me, and I want you to talk about this in a second, but. So Tommy was actually arrested for breaching the peace. Now, 